Holy crap, dude. If, uh, I don't know how well you guys are going to see how bright this is. It looks like it's a lot brighter in real life, but this is reflecting off the, uh, the white something fierce. But, um, that is crazy bright. If this is, if this is any indication on how it's going to look whenever it's in here on the ceiling, because these are the ceiling boards, um, it's going to be a pretty bright garage. And I might have to disconnect some of the LEDs whenever I don't need them. But, yeah. I painted them inside the garage, as you guys saw a few pictures, and put them out here, and uh, now they're drying. But it's really hot today, it's it's 90 degrees, and it's humid, and it's breezy, so... Honey. Guys, guess what we're doing today? So, we're going to Mama Papa's house to eat okay, dinner honey. and swim. Okay, so it should not have any problems drying out here, actually most of them are already dry this is the most recent one that i did and it's already completely dry by the, by the looks of it um so yeah i don't know if you guys can see that or not but that is that's right ladies and gentlemen today is the day that i am going to hang the osb in the ceiling of the garage um as you guys all know should know the uh, walls are all have been done now for about a week and a half. Today is Friday, June 12th. I did take a vacation day today. Reason being is um, I wanted to rent this lift on a Saturday and do it on a Saturday, but I found out two days ago that I actually have a um, family get together this weekend. My um, wife's grandma's having a birthday. So uh, that's like right smack dab in the middle of the afternoon. And I knew that if I were to have to have that go to that I wouldn't be able to do the whole entire ceiling in one day um, so I didn't I, I couldn't do it on a Saturday so I'm doing it today uh, and uh, I couldn't be more excited because I, I got the boards painted last week and I am now at a point where I am ready to install the ceiling boards um, once these ceiling boards go up uh, this is when it starts getting really exciting because at that point I can actually go back through and just touch up um, some of the paint because I might I might have a little bit of paint peeling from since I have them stacked um, on, a, um, on top of each other in my garage um, but that's fine I want to put a second coat on anyways but I just wanted to do the first coat on the uh, ground this way it makes it much easier because I have my head up in the air the whole time but once I get the OSB up on the ceiling I'll be able to install my LED lights which uh, I've been super excited for for a very long time because it's gonna be bright but anyways, we're gonna get back home here. I just got this at a rental um, place here in um, Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. It's $20 a day. Home Depot wanted $40 a day. And with them, they require you to bring it back within 24 hours. With this place, if I buy it on a good on a Friday, I have it for the entire weekend. So, which is awesome. Um, so 20 bucks to help install OSB on the ceiling is well worth it for me. So let's get started. So there you go, I got one piece up. And um, there, I, I, I knew this garage wasn't gonna be very square because of everything else that's been wrong with this place. So I'm not too concerned about this gap. You can see there's a gap there, but there's no gaps over here. It's pretty darn tight. Um, so I'm not concerned about it because I'm gonna be putting some trim up here eventually. Um, eventually meaning like not right away because I wanna get the interior done and I'll have to get the car over here and start doing Corvette content. But for now, I'm cool with this. I'm going to put a few more screws in back here and then, of course, the center, and we're going to keep on going. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'm excited and it's getting hot. So, I found it extremely annoying how, whenever I would roll up that thing, how it kept like hitting against this. Well, me and my idiot self didn't realize that this thing extends out and now it's like here, 
which makes it super simple because I was wondering why I had to like crouch down and be underneath the wood while I was rowing this thing up. But it's my first time, so I'm still learning, but uh, this should make it a lot easier. Oh yeah, 100% different. A little more convenient. I'd say my only complaint Spinning this thing, this thing here does not spin. If this here spun with this, it'd make it a lot easier. Like for example, my reel over here from my air hose, this here spins, which makes it easier to turn. But besides Matt, it's a huge help. It'd be a little, if, it, if I had help, this would go a lot faster. I can't get over how long it's taken me to do these first two, but I, I'll probably get better here as I go. Um, but this will be the third piece and I got my Thing cut out there for the outlet, as you can see. And uh, yeah, but that's a lot nicer. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got back, well, just got done eating lunch with my family, and I just realized I didn't never, I never set up my time lapse um, with my camera. Um, so I'll give you a quick update. I have nine boards up, three times three rows is nine. And um, now we're to the point where everything going forward is gonna, gonna be a little bit of uh, more time consuming because I have to cut some things out, outlets, those things, blah, 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 blah. But, um, very sorry I did not do any time lapse, but you guys are probably, if you do follow the channel and follow the garage updates, I appreciate it, but you're probably getting tired of time lapse because my last two videos have been nothing but time lapse. But people want to see what I do and I don't feel like recording a nine hour video and posting a nine hour video on YouTube because you guys wouldn't watch it, neither would I. Um, and I would never be able to upload something that long with my internet. So, uh, I apologize for that, but as you guys can see, I am so far. Uh, this thing works much better, much better whenever this is out like this, but it's still, it's still not very easy to turn. I thought it would be a lot easier to turn, but it's not. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this board up here and another board, and then um, I think I'm gonna finish it tomorrow because my family asked if we could have like a, a picnic tonight with some um, coffee and desserts and some hot dogs, campfire and swimming. So. I think we're gonna do that. I do have this um, through the weekend, um, and tomorrow is Saturday, so I will do it then. Let's keep going. Alrighty, folks, today is the next day. I gotta be honest, it is absolutely gorgeous outside today. It is um, Saturday, 13th, and it is 60 degrees right now, six zero, which is awesome. Yesterday was, yesterday was about 84 and miserable because it was hot and humid today is 60 and it's only supposed to get to a high of 72 today so that's perfect for what we're doing here today and um i am going to be finishing up this garage but um as i can show you real quick here what we have done is this uh, i was able to put a hole in the osb to bring that down through so i didn't have to like make an ugly cutout around it like beside it and then i still have this this one all this, that, and that. And then uh, the next, once I get this row finished, the next two rows will be super, super simple because I'll just be full sheets, except for that, and I gotta cut like, a little strip off, but no more things to cut around, so <clears throat> that'd be really nice not to have to do that. But this row here is what's taking most of the time right now. It's, it takes a little bit of time, but we'll get it. We're getting there. I see you guys are still watching the video. Well, that's good because I'm doing a lot in one video because I'm just trying to get this garage done. Um, I did not show you guys yet, but I did get the, the whole entire ceiling finished. Um, I took the lift back this morning before work, and now I'm painting. Um, so I'm just going to paint as what, whatever I can. I, I'm ready to get this done. I'm super excited. So I'm just going to paint this, and uh, I'm excited because once I get this paint part done, then we can put our LED, our LED lights up and uh, see how bright it's gonna be. Um, but I haven't told you guys, I don't think until this video, but I'm actually painting the garage white. I'm sure there'll be a lot of feedback on that. Um, I chose white because I wanted it to be very clean looking and also um, very bright. But I, I don't skimp when it comes to paint. I buy very good brand of paint and um, it's very easy to clean. Um, so I'm not worried about it getting dirty because I know a lot of people will probably say, oh, it'll get dirty, blah, blah, blah. My garage, I want it white. I think it's gonna look really good. Um, so I'm just doing this now. It is June 15th, a Monday. 
Uh, this video has been in several days. Um, and usually I upload on Mondays, but I didn't get one out this week because it would have been too small and too short. So I'm doing this to, uh, I can't even talk right now because I'm just too excited to get this painted. So uh, enjoy the time lapse. Jack it up. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what I have been dreaming about for quite a while now, several months. This is the sixth month of the year, so it's been seven months since we moved in here. And uh, I've been wanting this garage to be looking like this for a long time. As you know, we've had a lot of issues with water leaks, blah, blah, blah. We're not gonna talk about that right now. But I got all this done tonight. Uh, it took me two hours and a couple gallons of paint. Um, as most of you, I'm sure, all know, uh, OSB is very porous and it soaks in a lot of paint, um, but we're doing good. If you guys are wondering why I did not do all the trim painting first like you're supposed to, it's because I knew I was going to have to do a second coat, so I wanted to just get the first coat on now, and then I'm going to go through and put a real thick, um, heavy coat on the trim, like in the corners, and all up through there, and then go by with my roller and do the second coat, which will then finish it up for good. That is why I did what why I did why I did what I did. If you're curious to wonder why that guy doesn't know how to paint, um, I've actually painted a lot. I'm not saying I, I know how. I'm just saying I, I I know what you should and should not do, for the most part. This is my first time ever painting OSB. Um, it's been a learning experience for sure. Um, it, it soaks up the paint something fierce. Um, but um, guys, this is exciting because um, as you guys know, uh, once the um, painting is done, we're gonna be getting some legit. LED lights on the ceiling. These things are just temporary. They are actually my uncle's that were left here whenever he did the, whenever he installed the electricity. He's been gracious enough to let me have this for, well, like five months. Um, so uh, once I'm done with all that and get the lights in, this will be going back to him. The only wall I did not paint is this one, um, only because it's getting late. Um, my wife and I want to spend some time together before we put the kids in bed. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and see her real quick, but I gotta get this taped off. I gotta remove this outlet cover and then I'll paint it of course And I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna paint the wood behind this. I'm not gonna remove any of this stuff I'm just gonna kind of slop it on there and make it look as best I can But I, I will get that done probably tomorrow night for some reason Last week we had days in the 90s and then the last yesterday and today have been low 70s Tomorrow is also supposed to be in the low 70s, which I love because it's not hot and it's warm, but so I'm gonna try to get the rest of this painting done tomorrow night, um, and then uh, we'll be good to go on getting some lights installed in here. So hang tight, guys. I'm very sorry that this has drug on as long as it has. Believe me, I hate it too. It's been annoying for me just as much. So uh, yeah, uh, this is where we're at, and I'm very happy with it, and I really appreciate your guys' support. I hope you guys are continuing to semi-enjoy what I'm doing here. I know it's kind of getting old, um, but again, you, you have to kind of understand where I'm at with this. You know, I understand the Corvette's not been on the channel for a while, but I have to focus on getting the garage done so I can get the Corvette here because it's been in my parents' garage for 11 and a half years. Actually, a little over that now, so that would be why. All right, guys, so I completely forgot to film an outro for this video, but I wanted to throw up a few pictures that I let you guys know that I did get a second coat on. I put a second coat on the ceiling and on the walls and as you can see in the first picture I put up on um, the left side was a second coat the right side was the first coat it made a huge difference as it should uh, the second picture there you can see the second coat on the wall and the right side was the first coat it amazed me how much less paint it took too uh, I forgot to mention this in the video but I actually used five and a half gallons to do the very first coat which is insanely crazy to me um, but it is OSB it's very absorbent 
Um, but the second coat only took two gallons, so two and a half gallons um, to do the second coat. So it was half the amount of paint. But I got the second coat on here, as you can see. The walls look very, very nice in my humble opinion. Um, so I'm very happy about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I hope you guys are excited for the next one whenever I install my lights because it is going to be sick, sick, sick. I cannot wait. Please like this video if you liked it. If you did not like this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Take care now. See you later. Bye.